Hi, I'm Jason Miller with the Philadelphia District Army Corps of Engineers, and I'm here to talk to you about dry and wet floodproofing. Floodproofing is one type of non-structural flood risk management. Dry floodproofing means sealing a building to keep flood waters outside. That means that any areas below the expected water level have to be sealed and made watertight, including doors or any other openings. As water levels rise, forces against the structure begin to increase. And if the water gets too high, those forces can become damaging and possibly cause build, uh, walls, exterior walls and basements to collapse. For this reason, the dry floodproofing technique is not recommended for buildings with basements or in areas where you would expect depth of water to exceed about three feet. On the other hand, wet floodproofing is a technique that allows the flood water to enter the building through specifically designed openings and any items that could be damaged would have to be relocated. This technique can be appropriate for buildings with basements, but any furnaces or utilities or other personal belongings would have to be relocated to higher elevations or protected with waterproof bags. Floodproofing is one type of non-structural flood risk management and it can be successful if applied in the right situations.